Hello everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we are excited to bring to you a new addition into the MC Air line of cameras, and it's the ASI 585 MC Air. If you're familiar with the ASI Air Plus and its interface, and you like its simplicity, then the 585 MC Air is going to be a great entry into dedicated astrophotography cameras, especially if you are working with short to medium focal length telescopes. So in this video, we're gonna talk about camera specifications, who we think this camera was designed for, and finally, we're gonna attach it to the ASCAR V modular refractor and put it to the test. So without further ado, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. So to start this video off, let's talk about the 585 MC Air specifications. The ASI 585 MC Air features a Sony IMX 585 sensor with 2.9 micron pixels and a full 4K resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. On top of this, these small 2.9 micron pixels make this camera a perfect match for those telescopes with a medium focal length of about 700 to 800 millimeters. That gets you right under one arc second per pixel, which is great for your average sync conditions. Also included is a built-in guide camera, which utilizes the same highly sensitive sensor as the ASI 220 monochrome. On the back of the camera, you have a USB hub with several USB 2.0 ports, as well as two power input ports, one for powering the camera itself and the other for powering an accessory. The ASI 585 MC Air is an all-in-one solution. It combines Wi-Fi control, power distribution, and a full capture software all within the ASI Air app and that familiar ASI Air interface that's going to provide astrophotographers with a reliable and very user-friendly experience. It's extremely intuitive, and if you're already familiar with the ASI Air, then you're going to feel right at home. Same interface, same function, less cables. All right, so now let's talk briefly about what comes with this camera. Inside the box, you'll find a camera and camera bag, a 1.5 meter male to female extension cable, a DC cable, a USB 2.0 cable, 55 millimeters worth of spacers, a threaded M42 to M48 ring, a Velcro strap, an antenna, and a hex key. Next, let's go take a look at what equipment we're gonna be using when we use the 585 out in the field. If we're going to properly pair this camera with the perfect telescope, we have to consider the pixel size and the focal length of the telescope. If you look at the article on how to choose the best camera for deep space astrophotography, which is linked below, then you'll find a formula to calculate resolution. All we have to do is input the camera's pixel size and use a focal length, for example, of about 600 millimeters. Here we get a resolution of 1.0 arc seconds per pixel, which is a great place to be if you live with average sync conditions. Now, with that said, what better scope to test this camera with than the ASCAR V? The ASCAR V is a modular refractor with six different focal length variations. It comes with a 60 millimeter objective and an 80 millimeter objective, as well as an extender, a focal reducer, and a field flattener. If you want a full review on the scope, go ahead and check the link below as well. We'll post that there. So with my scene conditions being average to maybe a bit above average, we found the ASCAR V with the 80 millimeter objective and the extender to bring the focal length to 600 millimeters was going to be the perfect pair for the 585 MC Air. Mounting the 585 directly onto the ASCAR V is simple with the standard 55 millimeters of spacing. The 585 MC Air is powered with the included power cable through the back of the AM5 deck hub. Finally, we power and connect the EAF to the back of the USB hub on the ASI 585. This imaging rig is so simple. The 585 connects to the mount via Bluetooth, so it reduces cable snags. Everything works flawlessly. We have clear skies tonight. Let's go set up. For our test, we chose to focus on a brighter nebula, one that is rising in the northeast and is a favorite for astrophotographers of all skill levels, the North American Nebula. This nebula lies within the constellation of Cygnus, and within this nebula lies a dense cloud of ionized hydrogen gas, thoughtfully known as the Cygnus wall. This wall of hydrogen fits perfectly within the ASI 585 sensor, and hopefully over the next two clear nights, we can attempt to collect about nine hours of total exposure time.
During my entire experience testing the 585 MC Air, I found that it worked as flawlessly as the ASI Air Plus and the 2600 MC Air. As far as reliability and consistency, nothing there has changed. We were also pleased to find that the guide camera was able to guide very well through the 3 nanometer L ultimate filter. Whether you're looking for a versatile and all-in-one camera system for your astrophotography travel rig, or a dedicated astronomy camera for your medium focal length Newtonians and refractors, the ASI 585 MC Air is a great choice. It brings the trusted ASI Air platform into a more affordable and beginner-friendly form factor without sacrificing image quality, and when paired with a scope like the Ascar V, it becomes a compact powerhouse for deep space imaging. Well, that is it for our video over the ASI 585 MC Air. If you have any questions about this camera or the Ascar V itself, let us know in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to assist. Again, make sure to like, subscribe so you don't miss out on any future product reviews over astrophotography equipment. My name is Tegan, clear skies.